guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So, I've been getting like more and more requests for this and everything, and um, I think I finally I'm going to do a tip tutorial on it. Uh, forgive me if I've already done it before, but sometimes it's really nice to just recap and go over these things again, especially if I've done them in the past and they're way in my video history and you can't find it. So, um, today what we're going to do is we are going to color skin on half tone paper or not half tone paper I mean tan tone paper and once again it's this book little book right here tan tone paper see tone tan I'm going backwards clearly but yes but it's by Strathmore and everything and since we've been doing a lot of tan uh, tone tan I can't say this tan tone tips and tutorials and everything I thought that we would go ahead and at least start on a skin tutorial on Alice and then as I go along, then you could pro you could probably figure out more darker skin colors and everything. And of course, I'll probably make another video for next week on probably like a Strathmore tutorial on Tantone paper of Tiana or Pocahontas or someone. Someone with darker skin opposed to Pale Alice. The first thing I like to do, especially with uh, pale girls like Alice, is I like to go in at least with my peach pencil. Here's my just regular peach. It's actually light peach, I do believe. So I go in with my light peach pencil and at least just color in like the areas and everything. And as you can see, that's not really picking up as well, especially on tone ta uh, tan tone paper. I cannot say this. <laughs> I'm just going to say it my way. Don't I do that already? All right. So as you see, as I'm coloring in her arm right here, now once again, with the shading tips, I made a shading tutorial as well. You gotta imagine where the light is hitting and where it's not. If I were to go in with Alice, what I would do next is I need to figure out where my darker places are, as in shadows and everything. So of course, at the back of her arm, her arm is probably being shielded from the light. So I'm just gonna go in and I add a little dark brown which is uh, a sienna brown. Yes, it is, okay. A sienna brown, and I just go in and I just hit those few spots like that. Where it's just, where it's not getting hit. And I just go lightly like this. And then after that, what I would do is, I would come in with like my cream colored, which is clearly losing length. My cream colored pencil, and I would go over this section. And as you can see, it's not only blending it in, but it's brightening up the skin just a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, and once again, as you've seen in my coloring tutorials, I go in circular motions, whether it's like an oval shape or whatnot, but it just blends in more when you go in a circular motion and it just looks better as opposed to going back and forth. So, okay, I did the cream color. Now if I come in and I just gotta think about where the light is hitting, and sometimes there goes the very tip of that. I just like to go in with a little white and that makes her skin brighter because she is extremely pale. So, and then I go over the whole thing and you just see how nice that just blends in, especially with skin. Just like that. Sometimes, and what, what I always teach is there's always room for layers and layers and layers. So I'm going to go back over that white section that I just colored over just like that and I come behind like this and as you can see it's just turning it a little bit more peachier and it's just blending in more and more another nice little tip especially with shadows you can even even go in with a little blue sometimes and that just makes it just makes shadows stand out a lot more you just go over it like that it just adds a little bit more dimension it just looks cooler, I guess. So I'll go over again my little shadow parts of her arm. Come down in the crease of her arm because it's, of course, it's overlapping. That section of her arm. Come down like that. And then I would go back in with my peach pencil. Just like that. Wow, the sun is acting weird today. Like I said guys, it's totally up to you what you want to do when it comes to like the shadows and everything. Like if I were to come in from right here, 
I've got like bright light hitting right here on the top of her arm and of course I'll go along the side of her hand. I'll go ahead and color that in really fast. Okay, and then I'll come back with my white pencil and I hit where the light is hitting her specifically just like that. I'll come back to the dark shadows and of course in between her fingers we have some shadow work going on just like that and then underneath her pinky finger and the palm of her hand just like this and then I'll go on the outside right here and of course okay here comes the Sun again clear I'll go like this just make it a little bit darker towards the bottom just because there's not shot there's no shadows hitting it like that okay then I'll go in with my cream colored pencil again and I'll go over that section of brown that I just colored in and the rest of her skin and into the white just blending it all in together because that's what's nice about this kind of paper you just blend it in and then it starts popping more and it stands out against the uh, dark the tan paper contrast my process is go in with the light peach pencil and go ahead and color the whole section the next part is I go in and I figure out where my shadows are and I need to figure out of course where the light is hitting is it really bright white where the light is hitting or is it just enough light that it's peachy and once again you can use either of these to go ahead and smooth things out and blend all the shadows and light together into the skin it does I mean I use them both you watch me use them both then again if you want a little bit more in-depth like shadow work and everything just to make colors pop a little bit more I do use a blue and sometimes what's really fun if once again with different shadows and practicing if you want to brighten up the skin just a little bit you can come in and just to show that sunlight and everything come in with a little bit of yellow and just line across the white and as you can see that's popping right out just where the like the sunlight would be hitting she's just bright and yellow just like that and you see how fast that just totally popped out because it's on top of the white pencil so of course it's gonna pop out really big I promise to do another skin tutorial on Tiana or Pocahontas um, or we could do Lilo or someone like that someone with a different skin tone and everything but for right now here's pale Alice and once again the skin always can be darker just depends on what colors you stack on top of each other and it's layer on top of layer on top of layer and don't forget to blend in your colors I really hope this was helpful um, hopefully you can try it out as soon as possible but yeah I want you guys to have a wonderful week I'll see y'all later bye